you guys had proactive approach you were always like ready to help in everything because even, even after even uh, after i received my contract and offer you you guys were like uh, looking at the contract and like suggesting me what to do next and that sort of thing and even like and uh, throughout the process there was also like uh, your proactive approach whenever i had a problem you you guys were always like ready to hop on a call with me uh, like discuss my confusions clarify anything that i had and uh, and all you guys were all always like available on whatsapp as well so that was something that i really liked welcome back from berlin germany for another success story video today with one of our clients from pakistan again we call him ali today we have to change his name because as i told you in the last video a lot of people approaching our clients and get in touch with them on linkedin and i can just repeat myself before we start with that video if you want to get in touch with a client of ours contact us first do a get to know call then we proceed to a career strategy consultation and then we are happy to hook you up with one of our clients that you can talk with him or her um, before you sign up to our coaching but please don't get in touch with them directly because in the past people doing those success videos got like 20 30 messages a day and this is really annoying so please contact us first and this is why um, we had to change the name I hope you understand it and yeah but if you're contacting us first I can also hook you up with Ali and you find out who's his real identity um, if you like but don't approach him directly on LinkedIn because he doesn't have time to uh, respond to 20-30 messages a day on LinkedIn. Anyway welcome today Ali nice to meet you uh, nice, not nice to meet you but uh, <laughs> thank you for your time we know each other for quite some time maybe you can introduce yourself yeah. first tell what who you are what kind of tech tech are you using what is your situation yeah you know uh, nice to meet you too and you know it was a really great journey with you guys so yeah i, I am like a, a javascript developer mostly focused on front end and i have around five years of experience working with react and a bit of uh, on the back end side as well uh, using node.js so yeah but mostly like uh, my expertise lies on the front end side i've and you know i work here in pakistan in multiple companies different companies so yeah that would be my professional intro cool and um yeah today i want to talk with you about like how you found a job in germany and you already working for that company mm -hmm. you started in yeah, january yeah. you started remotely and you're yeah, moving yeah. to germany fast uh, maybe mm -hmm. tell us about the process um mm -hmm. first of all did you get to know about us what was mm -hmm. the process and then mm -hmm. we can learn on how, how you did it yeah uh sure uh, well uh you know uh, i got a message on linkedin from you know i think uh, uh, george and he told me about the seminar uh if i want to find a job in germany so uh like i uh, decided to like attend the seminar i was like it's, it's free what's the harm in joining the seminar so you know i joined it and i was a bit uh, skeptical, uh, skeptical because you know uh, uh, there are a lot of different scams and that sort of thing in 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 this this field because there were a few like consultants here in pakistan who also like i got scammed from them so uh, yeah you know that's why i decided maybe uh, like uh, see the seminar and then then let's see what happens so yeah you know i, I uh, saw the seminar there was uh, and uh, you were i think giving the seminar and the steps that you told that uh, we will focus on this step and there was a lot of information in that and you know i thought maybe yeah why not give it a try because you know you don't have to pay all the money up front and that sort of thing so that's why you know i decided to give it a try and then Okay. Uh, the process continued yeah okay then i remember we had our um our strategy consultation on zoom mm -hmm. huh? before you sign it up you booked mm -hmm. a call with us mm -hmm. get to no call and then we had our zoom call and i remembered um from today i talked with you and uh, mm -hmm. 20 minutes later you signed mm -hmm. up right <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 you know I, I really like had my mind made up after like watching the seminar and i was why not give it a try like it's 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 worth the like what the fees what they were like what the effort so you know cool. yeah. and um 
yeah, it was the 2nd of September, I think. I just mm -hmm. looked it up and I think yeah. you got your first offer, your first mm -hmm. job offer six weeks later at the end of yeah. October. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how, how was that going? Like you, we had our strategy consultation, you booked yeah. the same day. Yeah, how yeah. did the process um, mm -hmm. move on with them? What, what were we doing next? So like uh, when, I, uh, when I started off with you guys, it was like a strategy consultation and I was like, it, it was in my mind, like it would take a lot of time, like maybe six months, eight months to get my first job. Like, obviously it, uh, I heard it's not that easy. So, you know, uh, I started off like we had, uh, I think a few like sessions first uh, and then you guys updated my cv applied for a few jobs on linkedin and that sort of thing other platforms so uh yeah and uh, uh, then i got multiple i think multiple interviews in the first week and i was uh, like giving i think two to three interviews a day and yeah it was uh, and after that like uh, i had a, a a mock interview with you regarding how to do the first call and that sort of thing and and yeah like i remember uh, like in in my first few interviews i failed the first call and then i got back in touch with you and you then again i think we had another one of the mock interviews and you like told me like improve these these points you are still doing these things wrong so you know and after that i think i'd never really failed any first calls so yeah you know uh, and then you know the coding challenges and that sort of thing so yeah and i got my first call i think in two months the first offer it was really like uh, couldn't believe that uh, like i would get the offer so soon you know yeah yeah i remember you yeah. failed as i said in the first few calls and then i think you also yeah. failed in the first one or two coding challenges yeah but yeah. then like you nailed all interviews and yeah, uh, yeah. you got yeah. your offer and you had like i don't know you were in a process yeah, yeah. of 20 or 30 different companies at yeah, the time yeah, a lot of a lot of companies yeah you know <laughs> and then you got your first offer and i think mm -hmm. a couple of days later you got your second offer you got your third yeah, offer right and yeah, then yeah. yeah um you had to decide which offer yeah. you take and uh, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. But, yeah that well, like uh, that was the thing like i had my first offer then got offer from the company that like uh, the first offer that i got it was a fresh startup so you know um, and that was i was expecting like maybe i get get a job in the in a fresh startup but then maybe later after i move to germany go for a bigger company but you know after that the both offers that i got were from big companies so yeah that it was a really like uh, unexpected thing for me okay so, and was yeah. it the was it the right decision like as i said you started working now uh, what what is the process now um tell us a mm -hmm. little bit yeah so uh, right now like uh, i think i started working a week ago so it, it's like the first week was uh, an onboarding process in which there were there were a lot of meetings they told me about a lot of different stuff like uh, how, what are the company processes and what uh, like uh, uh, how you give feedback how you like uh, do go through the process of the payments and what what are their company principles and introduced us to different departments and like this week we are starting off by like introduce getting introduced to the team and you know like uh like over here we usually when we join a company it's like just get started with the work and everything so but you know when i had a call with my manager he actually like i have started asking him about the work and that sort of thing so he he just taught me that don't worry about about the work right now you know <laughs> just focus on getting the to know the team and getting uh, to like get integrated within the company culture and everything we'll, we'll discuss about the work later on so you know that was quite different a different thing for me what was there, was there one specific thing which you like out of this um first mm -hmm. week which you like i think mm -hmm. you talked about you learned yeah. had a workshop about feedback culture or something could yeah. you talk about that a little bit more yeah yeah, yeah uh, so you know we had different seminars in which they were t telling us about different things so the feedback one was like 
uh, in which they told us how you give feedback to your boss, how you give feedback to your colleagues and how you receive feedback. So, uh, you know, it, it that was also quite different for me because, you know, in Pakistan, it's not really like uh, there, there is, isn't a lot of concept of feedback. It's like the boss is always right and that sort of thing. So, you know, uh, it was a different thing for me to, you know, and a good thing to get to know that you can give feedback to anyone. So, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah and, and if you if you look back, like, was the recruiting process maybe a little bit similar? What was especially important in the recruiting process? What mm -hmm. what did you find? What did you learn? What what was new to you? Mm -hmm. Well, in the recruiting process, like there, every company has their own process, but uh, there were like, like you guys told me in the start that there will be three, there will always be three steps in each company's like recruitment process. So the first call, then the uh, coding challenge, and then the cultural fit interview. So, you know, uh, the, uh, so this was like a different thing. The cultural fit was a bit different thing for me. And, you know, I also remember like after like uh, uh, finishing the coding challenge and everything, I also had a problem with a few companies regarding the cultural fit. So we again had a call with you regarding the cultural fit interview. So that was a different thing for me. And other than that, the, like the coding challenge is it's different for each company. Like uh, some of them, they give you like a, uh, a coding problem to solve that sort of thing and some of them like they give you a take home project you do the project and that uh, then they review it and have a presentation call with you and some of them like they have a live peer-to-peer -peer coding challenge with you so i go i've gone through all those like different processes so uh, but the company that i joined it it had a pair programming session with me because they said like that they really wanted to you know get to know the person and how it's like to work with them so uh, if they like they said that if you, they give you a take-home assignment they can't really understand how it's like to actually have a pair programming session and work with you in in, a, in an office environment so yeah and, and this is also what what we found important that you could see it in mm -hmm. this onboarding week and also in yeah. the recruiting because the communication teamwork yeah, soft yeah. skills this is key for most of the german companies and yeah, um, yeah. i always say this is 50 percent of you getting, getting hired mm -hmm. and this is what most of our clients have to learn mm -hmm. a little bit since the work culture in their home countries mm -hmm. is usually a bit different yeah what yeah. it is here and this is quite important yeah, yeah. Rafe, and what are they what are the next steps for you so you started now and um, when will you be in germany in which city are you again is it berlin are you coming to berlin yeah yeah yeah, yeah i'm coming to berlin and you know the, like the company they have already introduced me to their uh, the visa agency because they're handling my visa process uh, mm. so they gave me like two contracts one is a freelance contract uh, through which I can work from here until my visa comes along and then I have applied for and the second contract is the actual work contract which will begin I think at the start of April and uh, you know the, uh, and the visa process I'm going to like uh, put my case into the embassy and then I think as soon as my visa comes so uh, I'll fly to Berlin cool yeah. <laughs> so we should welcome you here by by March I guess <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe if it comes uh, like early, so and uh, other than that, I think April would be like uh, a good date in mind. So yeah, yeah. spring yeah. spring will be coming slowly to Berlin by then, and it will <laughs> yeah. be nice and warm outside again. So that is yeah. a good time, and I would also love yeah, to I think... love to meet yeah, but... you here in Berlin then and uh, have a look how how you settled here. That would yeah, be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, all right tell us a one last thing what did you especially like maybe or is there something what you want to share with other software developers who are looking mm -hmm. for a job in germany mm -hmm. uh, like regarding the mm -hmm. program or what is important mm -hmm. okay uh, so regarding the program like but what i really liked was the like you guys had proactive approach you were always like ready to help in everything because even, even after even uh, after i received my contract and offer you you guys were like uh, looking at the contract and like suggesting me what to do next and that sort of thing and even like and uh, throughout the process there was also like uh, your proactive approach whenever 
I had a problem. You you guys were always like ready to hop on a call with me, uh, like discuss my confusions, clarify anything that I had, and uh, and all you guys were all always like available on WhatsApp as well. So that was something that i really liked and other than that the the thing that the step-by-step -step approach that you guys had that first do this then do this and then everything like helping the uh, helping me every step of the way so yeah yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. thanks yeah. it was also very a pleasure with with working mm -hmm. you i'll be honest yeah, yeah. I, i knew from the from the first call we had when yeah. we had this first yeah. call i yeah. knew when i talked to you and when you mm -hmm. sign up 20 minutes later mm -hmm. i know that this will work out fine <laughs> yeah. because you know i talked Wait. to so many developers by now thousands mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i have a quite yeah. good understanding <laughs> yeah, yeah. now what what will yeah, work yeah. and what not yeah, yeah. thank you again for for yeah. that interview and also for the, the great mm -hmm. work you did and Yeah. I wish you a yeah. really good start in Germany and all the best for you yeah. and your family. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, you guys as well for like uh, being with me through this process and yeah. And we will still be. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You will have yeah, yeah. you have another uh, 100 questions when you come here. But don't yeah, worry. Yeah, don't hesitate to get in touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, if you're a software developer mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. want to find a job in Germany as well, um, mm -hmm. get in touch with us, watch mm -hmm. our free video training, then mm -hmm. book a get to know call. In this mm -hmm. get to know call, we see if we can mm -hmm. help you or not. Mm -hmm. If we can help you, we proceed to mm -hmm. our second call. We call it career strategy consultation, mm -hmm. where we explain the program in more detail, where we analyze your profile a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then after that call, if we decide that it will work out, we make you an offer to join our program. You can go ahead. As I said, if you would, if you like, we can also hook you up with a former client of ours, like um, Ali. We had to change his name again because a lot of people are approaching um, the people who made it to Germany directly on LinkedIn. So please get in touch with us first. I can just say that again. And yeah, then it's, it's not magic. It's just a straight process which we've done a few hundred times and if you stick to what we teach you what and implement the steps it's it's not a big deal to get a job it sounds a bit too easy it's not easy it's hard work isn't it uh, yeah um, yeah of course it's, it's a lot of hard work like i was doing a lot of coding challenges and you know doing a lot of preparation so but you know uh, with you guys along it, it, it Uh, you make it easier for like yeah. someone who doesn't know much about it so, yeah. exactly yeah. Um, and if you're ready to to invest mm -hmm. a bit of time and invest a bit in learning yourself and follow, mm -hmm. follow our step-by-step -step approach it is also perfectly possible for you to get a job here so yeah but today thanks again Ali for that yeah. pleasant conversation all the best um, greetings yeah. to Pakistan yeah. from, from Berlin Germany and hope to see you soon here in, in Berlin and yes. so far take care stay healthy yes. and ciao yes take care and see you soon bye bye bye